It can't be coaching. Legends like Lou Holtz, Frank McGuire, and Steve Spurrier have roamed their sidelines. It can't be players. Luminaries such as Sterling Sharp, George Rogers, and Alex English donned the South Carolina garnet and black. Still, the Gamecocks' lone national title in any sport came in women's track and field. The major sports since the Great Depression, especially depressing. A paltry five regular season conference titles in their entire history. But there is a logical explanation. Uh-oh. The chicken curse. Sure. Invoked in the 1800s by a senator, a Clemson man, no doubt, who opposed the establishment of the university, the curse has been blamed for being the victim of a 15-seat over 2-seat upset in the NCAA tournament, mind-boggling football face plants when ranked number one, even the epic 78 Red Sox collapse, which came only after Gary Hancock, a South Carolina alum, joined the Boston roster. Oh. Tonight, the chicken curse could be deep fried forever. College World Series, best of three, cocky up one game to none on UCLA, who, by the way, has 106 national titles to one for South Carolina at the moment. Heaven Marzilli flies out, and maybe old cocky the chicken curse is going to go down. Or maybe it's still alive. South Carolina down one nothing. Well, what happened to the chicken curse there? There's a Bruin curse. Ball goes off the first baseman's glove, an error charged to Dean Espy, who later punched his hand against something in the dugout and had to come out of the game. Top nine, South Carolina in trouble. Matt Price gets Nico Gallego, and Cocky's out of the jam. Bottom 11, still tied at one. Man on third for Whit Merrifield. Merrifield takes the pitch to right, and Scott Wingo comes running home with the winning run. South Carolina, its first ever national title in a major sport, and in baseball, they beat the Bruins 2-1. to one.